Hello, I am Manendar Sidhu, and this episode is in continuation of the previous episode that I did about media. In that episode, I discuss about that how our mind gets manipulated by the several agencies. Now, I feel that, and I want to point out one thing that when I say I feel that, I mean to say that this is my subjective opinion. I am not talking about any universal truth, I may be wrong also. So I feel that a kind of collective human ego is prevailing which is forbidding us to see the reality. I remember one quote that uh, it is stated somewhere that in a journey of truth the biggest obstacle is not ignorance but false knowledge. Even George Bernard Shaw has stated that fake knowledge is more dangerous than ignorance. I feel that we, f- we take a lot of pride in believing that we are very responsible, aware, intellectual, educated citizens. We take pride that, yes, I listen to the debates. I am fully aware about the latest happening in the political field and everywhere. But I feel otherwise. I feel that every step of our life, we are being programmed, systematically programmed, indoctrinated, controlled, regulated. Hardly there is any one of us who can be termed as having independent thinking. Now I give you certain examples that how we get programmed. And this episode is about that, about that programming, explanation of that programming. There are several tools through which we get programmed. And one such big tool is the media our exposure to the visual medium which which makes a great impact on our thinking. Without explaining, I, I give you example because examples explain in a better way. Do you know that how scams are exposed in the media? That is a very interesting story. Most of the scams are not exposed by the media itself but through the media. Actually, they get unearthed by way of tussle between the power groups. In most cases, the opposition political party, they want to topple the government and they bring forward some sort of scam. And when a scam is about to be exposed, then political party, they select their favorite media house and a kind of war strategy is made in which it is all planned that how a momentum of public opinion is to be made. And through this strategy, the information is leaked in installments deliberately. The first news will provide only 20% of the picture. On the basis of that, the opposition will stall the proceedings of the parliament and mind it, the most of the scams get exposed when the parliament is in session. The disruption in parliament itself becomes a news. After that, more information is leaked in installments and in seven, eight days, several agitations are there, several news items are there and a very strong public opinion is formed. Now, very interestingly, after three or four years, you can find a very short news item in third or fourth page of a newspaper in which it is written that the main accused of that scam has been acquitted by the court due to lack of evidence. Scam is gone. Even it is gone from the public memory. This public memory is not short. It is short. 
क्योंकि जब तक स्कैम की जरूरत है स्कैम विल कीप सर्फिसिंग इन द मीडिया आफ्टर दैट देर विल बी ए कंप्लीट साइलेंस अबाउट इट एंड ड्यू टू दैट साइलेंस इट गेट्स रेपरेटेड फ्रॉम द पब्लिक मेमरी सो मोस्ट ऑफ द स्कैम्स आर सिस्टमेटिकली प्रोग्राम्ड एंड दे आर इम्प्लांटेड इन अवर साइकी एंड द इंटेंशन बिहेंड इट यू नो वेरी वेल not only politically even commercially we are getting programmed the brands the big corporate houses they spend trillions of dollars for planting their product in our mind there are brigades regiments of hidden persuaders advertisers who do the job of implanting their product in our mind अभी जो मैं देख रहा हूं कि चिल्ड्रन ने यूथ दे गेट लॉट मैनी ऑफ सच मैनिपुलेशन आई फील सॉरी अबाउट दैट बिकॉज चिल्ड्रन वो छोटे हैं लेकिन उनके माइंड में भी बहुत ज्यादा कंडीशनिंग हो रही है आपको एक एग्जांपल देता हूं जब भी कोई सुपर हीरो की मूवी आने लगी है विच इज द फेवरेट अमंग चिल्ड्रन उसके साथ ही बहुत ज्यादा प्रोडक्ट्स, टॉयज एंड एवरीथिंग इज देयर इन द मार्केट एंड देयर इज सो मच ऑफ बम्बारमेंट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन विजुअल मीडिया फॉर द चिल्ड्रन टू गेट ऑक्यूपाइड बाय दैट ब्रांड ऑफ सुपर हीरो एंड अबाउट द यंगस्टर्स द ब्रांड्स लाइक ए दे समाइम दे डाई टू गेट वन पर्टिकुलर ब्रांड मोबाइल in their hand not only politically and commercially but religiously we get programmed i give you one example that from the ages man wanted to dominate woman for that he devised a very subtle and interesting tool he termed god as a masculine character वो करता है वो करता है एंड वन ही इज डोनोटेड एज ही सेड ही वट इज इट अ गॉड कैन बी अ फीमेल और ऑफ एनी अदर स्पीसीज वाई ऑनली अ मैन रिचुअल्स दे डू कंडीशनिंग दे डू कंडीशनिंग टू to make us afraid of one particular religion so that the controlling agencies of that religion can control us too hamare andar bhagwan ka dar bhi uthaya jata hai and this is done for a purpose no not only politically commercially religiously but even common for common agitations our mind is being encroached upon inke liye sabse bada jo hathiyar hai wo hai word khatra danger mere dharm ko khatra hai meri jaat ko khatra hai mere profession ko khatra they implant a kind of insecurity in our mind and we stop thinking anything beyond it and we just become a herd following a particular slogan and becoming a part of agitation without bothering to probe deeply into into the issue without bothering to know what is actual truth so if you consider these examples then you will realize that how many times in a day we get conditioned program now the second part of the episode that what makes us to believe in such illusions to get so easily programmed or conditioned the answer is 
that is due to our own mind our subconscious mind now ab ye subconscious mind ye kya cheez hai instead of explaining it i give you one example that will itself explain it jaise aap roz ek raste pe jaate ho you daily travel on one path then you have no need to remember the turns and curves of the path your mind will automatically take you to the destination and it happens because of the operation of our subconscious mind subconscious mind is a kind of a storehouse in which everything that we come across is kept recorded and remains there but the only thing is that we are not fully aware about and these power houses political parties corporate houses religious gurus agitators they have tendency to enter into our subconscious mind and implant the information that they want to be implanted the best example of it is the hollywood blockbuster inception in that movie business decision is implanted in a person by encroaching into his dreams and he takes that decision without becoming aware about it so all these things are just inceptions in the depths of our psyche unless and until we become aware about it we can't claim that we have independent thinking we can't claim that we are the aware and responsible citizens of the country i feel that media has a great responsibility now and i feel that media is not fully equipped to deal with this battleground which is totally psychological and it is very necessary because if we want to have really independent and responsible citizens then those citizens should be free from all illusions and fake realities but at least i will keep doing this thing i will keep doing to make all of us aware about the subtle functioning of these power houses or these dominating forces kyunki main samajhta hu ki the duty of journalism is to raise the curtains parda nashi ko be parda karna hai us par aur parde nahi darna to make the people aware about the reality by deleting all illusions fake realities and with these words i conclude this episode here